Over the last year, we've been able to successfully recruit quite a number of new professors. And of course, that means a big boost for our research and for our teaching. Let's get to know some of these professors and find out how that first year at Haske has been like for them. So, great to have you here, Johannes. Um, you have been in St. Gallen for one year now. What can you tell about the school so far? I had a wonderful start. I'm exactly here for 277 days. I looked it up yesterday. And even before day one, um, the um, faculty services provided me with everything I need for a smooth start. And then on day one, the school welcomed me, the whole HSG welcomed me. And I never felt so productive and so up to speed already after the first week. Then, um, 30 or 40 days after I was here, our new master students in computer science um, joined the university, the first batch of computer science students as HSG uh, ever. In 100 days, our new bachelor students will join. Um, and in between, so many exciting things I got uh, with the help of the research office, an SNF grant, you know, uh, uh, awarded. I was able to submit it and get it awarded. Um, there was a, a um, start conference. We are at the HSG Symposium right now. Yeah, it, um, the team is growing. I have wonderful team members from all over the world. Um, it's, it's excellent and I never felt more productive, you know, right away. And I guess the speed will continue. As I said, you know, in 100 days we start with a bachelor and, you know, I love that speed. That sounds great. Now you're a professor in computer science mm -hmm. and, and I was wondering, you know, over these 277 days, what has research focused on? What, what makes you going? Yeah, in, in general, I'm a professor for computer science within the subdiscipline human-computer interaction. We design, develop and evaluate novel user interfaces. In particular, we are concerned with navigation apps. As you might know, you know, I don't want to mention company names right now, but you have a navigation app in your car, you have a navigation app um, on your mobile phone. And we try to improve those for the single users. What somehow changed or what is, you know, the HSG environment very good for is now that we also look um, at a more broader impact um, of those applications. So what is the impact to society, for example, if many of you using those um, navigation apps, for example, you may have seen those newspaper articles of crowded neighborhoods, right, you know, from, from small insights, how we can create better user interfaces, also, you know, how those new and novel technologies impact our day-to-day -day life within our society. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much. So welcome, Paolo. Um, you joined us on February 1st from Oslo and bringing the first ERC grant to St. Gallen. Congratulations on that. Now you've been here for about three months and I was wondering what's your first impression of St. Gallen? Yeah, first, thank you very much. I, I'm, I'm really honored and proud to be here. Um, and, and, and yes, the first impression, it's, it's, it's amazing. I, I feel, uh, I already feel at home. I'm still waiting for my family to move because of kids, schools, it will come a bit later. But uh, how productive I feel here and how much work I get done and how I feel this energy about working more and getting to new ideas and bringing new insights and impact, right, <laughs> to research in economics, that, that makes me feel very uh, engaged and, uh, yeah, uh, so very strong first impression and I hope and I look forward to continue. So your research is in applied economics and um, studying pretty interesting topics that uh, seem to have uh, truly, truly impact. And that's what I was wondering about. Can you elaborate a bit on, on how your research generates that social value, that societal impact? Yes. So, so my research really attempts to, to, to create a link between uh, views about what is just in society and uh, economic policies. Uh, and uh, compared to previous literature, one is, uh, is tempted to focus on a specific theory of justice, typically utilitarianism. But we know and we observe from people's views that fairness, justice is much more multifaceted. And that's what I'm trying to do, to elaborate, study, uh, identify this principle of justice and look at the implication for policies and then sell this machinery 
so the principles and the policy implications to the general audience, to politicians, and therefore have hopefully an important impact on the whole society. Can you give an example of how this has worked out? Well, <laughs> yes. Um, I, I, for example, a recent work of mine uh, is studying uh, how to account for fairness in tax justice. So standard utilitarianism, which is mostly adopted in economics, would suggest that we need to tax um, incomes at a marginal tax rate of up to 80%. And one might be surprised, <laughs> utilitarianism is a right-wing ethical view, but that's not exactly true, because the only reason not to equalize uh, after-tax income in that context is uh, labor supply responses, which are small. And so if you think that that's too much, it's because you have in, in mind some other view about merit uh, and, and effort uh, and uh, other aspects that are typically disregarded. And so our analysis is able to, to justify much more um, common sense, let's say, uh, taxation. Welcome, Anastasia. You are an associate professor in insurance economics and you started in St. Gallen on uh, August 1st last year. What's your first impression of St. Gallen, this place? So, first of all, my first impression is it's really beautiful. And uh, people were extremely nice and uh, accommodative and very helpful in the first couple of weeks. But uh, after that, I actually started to feel a bit dizzy because this is a very decentralized place. You know, just to give you an example, uh, we have a system of schools and I'm a uh, faculty at the School of Finance, but we also have a basically parallel system of institutes and I'm also associated with the Institute of Insurance Economics. And in the beginning, it was really not clear how you coordinate the reporting to these uh, different audiences. But then over time, I discovered that uh, uh, there is actually a lot of freedom and uh, entrepreneurial spirit that you can build from this uh, uh, decentralized organization structure. So your work is in insurance economics, insurance being a big industry. Um, but I was wondering how specifically research, your research um, creates the societal impact that we, we all look for. Yeah, that's a very good question. So uh, my research mainly focuses on the role of the insurance industry in the global financial system. And, uh, you know, one of the interesting questions that arise after the global financial crisis is how come that insurance companies also ended up on the front pages of Wall Street Journal and Financial Times? Because before people were thinking that this is a very stable and boring business. And uh, in my recent research, we actually showed that the fact that insurance companies adventured into providing uh, financial guarantees actually makes them very active participants that not only provide long-term capital to the market, but can also contribute to the fire sales during the times of the market stress. And of course, understanding this type of issues is very important, not only for the global financial system and its stability, but also for the real economy, because in the end of the day, insurers are indeed very large suppliers of capital. Excellent. Thank you very much. Most interesting. Thank you. So this was a presentation of three faculty members, how they feel in St. Gallen, how they have arrived, and how they try to create impact through their research. Obviously, we support these faculty members when they join us here in St. Gallen through our faculty services. But not only the faculty members, but also their families, so that they feel welcome and accommodated in uh, St. Gallen. Also in the next versions of our newsletter, Research Insights, we will present you new faculty members. And I hope you'll enjoy these presentations as much as I do.